హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ కాంబినేషనల్ లాజిక్ యూజింగ్ ఎన్ మాస్ అండ్ పి మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ here we'll understand the combinational logic implementation of and function and or function using n mos transistor and p mos transistors which will be acting as a switch and we'll understand how these transistors are arranged in series and parallel also we'll understand the logic behind the working of the circuit first we need to understand what is a combinational logic circuit the combinational logic circuit produces the output based on current input only it doesn't have any memory so you need to remember the combinational logic circuit produces the output based on the current input only it doesn't have any memory element so memory element is not present in combinational logic circuits to build the combinational logic circuit we use n mos and p mos which will be acting like a switch so n mos transistor or we can call this as n switch and p mos transistor we can call this as a p switch so each transistor which we use in the circuit will be acting as a switch and here you need to remember the n mos transistor or n switch will be on if the input across the gate is equal to 1 and p mos transistor or p mos switch will be on only when the input across the gate is equal to 0 so this is the basis to understand the combinational logic you need to remember n mos transistor or n switch will be on only when the input across the gate is equal to 1 and p mos transistor or p switch will be on only when the input across the gate is equal to 0 so n switch will be off if input is 0 and p switch will be off if the input across the gate is equal to 1 now by arranging this p mos and n mos transistors in series and parallel we can create different logic functions like and function and or function now let us understand the AND function using NMOS transistor. So here two NMOS are connected in series as shown in this figure. Across the gate of each NMOS will apply the gate input and each NMOS transistor will be acting as a switch. So first NMOS transistor will act as switch 1 and second NMOS transistor will act as switch 2. So here you need to remember n mos transistor or n switch will be on only when the input is equal to 1 since we are having two gate inputs here we'll get four combinations of inputs that can be applied across the gate so it might be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so when the input across the gate is 0 0 so both the transistors will be off so switch s1 as well as s2 will be off hence we will get output that will be equal to 0 output will also be off now when switch s1 is equal to 0 and s2 is equal to 1 at that case s1 will be off and s2 will be on since these two switches are connected in series output will be equal to 0 so output will be off for the next combination of input for 1 0 switch 1 will be on switch 2 will be off that's why the output will also be 0 so we can say output is off now when both the switches are having the input as 1 at that case switch 1 will be on and switch 2 will be on that will create a path to current flow that's why the output will be also equal to 1 so output for this combination will be equal to 1 so output will be on so and operation is shown in this truth table so here when the input is 0 0 output is 0 0 1 output is 0 1 0 output is 0 1 1 output is 1 which represents and operation 
Now let us understand ion function using PMOS transistor. So here, similar to the previous circuit, the PMOS transistors are connected in series. So here each PMOS transistor will act as switch. So PMOS transistor or P switch will be on only when the input across the gate is equal to zero. So when the input across the gate is equal to zero, this PMOS transistors will be on. If the input is equal to 1, PMOS transistors will be off. So, to get the output as 1, both the transistors should turn on. So, both the switches should be on since they are connected in series. Now, when the input is 0, 0 across the gate, both the switches will be on. That's why we will get the output is equal to 1, which means output will be on. For other combinations like 0, 1, switch 1 will be on, switch 2 will be off. So, output will be equal to 0, which means output is off. For 1, 0, switch 1 is off and switch 2 is on. That's why output will be equal to 0. So, output will be off. For 1, 1, switch 1 as well as switch 2 will be off. That's why output will be equal to 0. So, output is off. So, this truth table represents the AND function that is obtained using PMOS transistors. For 0, 0, output is 1. For 0, 1, output is 0. For 1, 0, output is 0. And for 1, 1, output is 0. So, only for 0, 0 combination, we are getting output 1, which is AND function. Now let us understand R function using NMOS and PMOS transistor. Now to implement R function, we need to connect NMOS in parallel and also PMOS in parallel combination. So for AND function, two NMOS will be in series and two PMOS will be in series. And for R function, two NMOS will be in parallel and two PMOS will be in parallel. To implement R function using NMOS transistors, we need to connect the transistor in parallel. So for NMOS transistor, if the input across the gate is equal to 1, only then the switches will be on. For S1 is equal to 0 and S2 is equal to 0, both the switch will be off. That's why there will be no path between A and B. So the output will be equal to 0. When the input is 0, 1 across the gate, switch 2 will turn on, switch 1 will be off. That's why we will get the output through the switch 2. That's why output will be 1. So output is on. For the first combination, output is 0. When the input is 1, 0, at that case, switch 1 will be on, switch 2 will be off. That's why there will be a path between A and B. So, output will be 1. So, output is on. When the input across the gate is 1, 1, both the switches will be on. That's why we will get output is equal to 1. So, output will be on. So, this table represents the OR function. For 0, 0, output is 0. For 0, 1, output is 1. For 1, 0, output is 1. And for 1, 1, output is 1. So, which represents the R function. Similarly, we can connect PMOS transistors in parallel to obtain the R function. Here, the PMOS transistor will turn on only when the input is 0. For input is equal to 1, the PMOS transistor switch will be off. So, when the input is 0, 0 across the gate, both the switches will be on. That's why we will get the output that will be equal to 1. So, output is on. For 0, 1, switch 1 will be on and switch 2 will be off. So, there will be a path for current flow from A to B. That's why output will be equal to 1. So, output is on. For 1, 0, switch 1 will be off, switch 2 will be on. So, the current can flow from A to B. That's why output will be equal to 1. So, output is 
on. For gate input 1, 1, both the switches will be off. That's why the output will be equal to 0. So, output is off. So, this operation is similar to R operation which is represented in this table where for 0, 0, output is 1. For 0, 1, output is 1. For 1, 0, output is 1. And for 1, 1, output is 0. So, from this we understood that by arranging NMOS and PMOS transistors in series and parallel, we can build the basic building blocks of digital logic which is AND operation and R operation. And also similarly, we can design other digital logic circuits. These logic circuits are foundation for CMOS technology which are used in modern VLSI design where we can design the logic gates and microprocessor. This is about combinational logic to design AND and R function. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.